Hey guys, I'm Mally Kritzer. I'm the Associate Pastor of Beach Baptist Church on Fort Myers Beach. Um, we are a community resource center along with a disaster recovery center partnered with FEMA. Um, and we've started this food pantry underneath what once was our church. Um, we had a food pantry before the storm and we saw about 70 people a week and now we have a food pantry that's open nine to five Monday through Friday and we see 80 people a day. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of what we do. Again, we have our little makeshift check-in point. They sign in, they give us their name, where they live, and how many people are in their household, and that lets us decide how many of each item that they get. Um, it's based on need. We can't, if you ask for more, we're gonna give you more, but if you're one person, you're not getting six cans of beans. If you come in, we ask you to stay within the orange barrier, and if you turn left, you have all of your food. We have stocked in Hi, soups, beans, fruit, condiments. We've got pancakes, we've got cornmeal, just any donation that we can get, we put out there. And we've noticed people are really grateful for a lot of stuff. Like this time we got um, real mac and cheese. It's the craft. People are loving that. The name is yeah. We have our camp supplies and our personal hygiene. Um, people really appreciative that. Okay. With all of the flooding and all of the molding, um, the bleach, the microband. Um, it really helps people with the red tide as well. People are getting really sick around here. We have our paper goods. It's very, very small. Not a lot of stock right now. Um, hot commodity for paper towel and toilet paper. And then we have some blankets. We have an abundance of blankets. It's been, we've got a cold front here right now, so people are taking a lot of blankets. And then we have this locked off because this is our backstop. Come on under. And this is where we keep everything and then we put it out in doses. So we've got all of our drinks along this way and along this way. Um, and then this is everything that's on that shelf. So Craig or myself or Elliot or Sherry, we all grab from here and put it on the shelf. And it actually goes all the way around. Um, an abundance of peanut butter. And then over here, this is where we keep our cleaning supplies, our masks, we hand out N95s, all of the PPE. A lot of people, like I said, with the mold and everything, it's really hard for people not to get sick and so we try to have that on property at all times for whoever needs it no matter who you are if you want to feel safe we're gonna make you feel safe and then this is a pretty new section of us we've got all of our canned goods here we've noticed that it's really hard to stock shelves with canned goods when they're in boxes that weigh 120 pounds so we've got all of our canned goods lined up and in sections so that when our shelves are empty, no matter who is here or volunteering, it's usually me, but whoever is here, they know where to go and what to grab. It may seem like a lot, but like I said, 80 people a day, the need is huge. This whole table will be gone in a week. Um, we see anything from a family with eight kids to a single mom whose son is in college, and she's trying to send him money, but she's also living in a tent in her driveway. Um, so any donations that we can get and anything, paper goods, cleaning supplies, PPE, ham goods, everything goes in service of the Lord here to our community and to the people affected by Hurricane Ian. In the place that you're standing right now, we got 18 feet of water. Um, a lot of people on this street didn't even survive. This was the crescent of the island. So all of our neighbors here, we got the brunt of it. Um, but thank you so much to Freedom Tour. We've got Fifth Wave, we've got Midwest, Harry Chapin, all of these people are just so generously helping us serve this community and any help later that we can get along the way is so appreciated.